Mitzi Epstein. I am state representative for District 18. That's Ahwatukee, Chandler, Mesa, and Tempe. I am really glad to be here, and I want to thank Randy Miller. We elected Randy Miller to the SRP board, and you heard he is the one who had to ask, what will the effect be on ratepayers? What will the effects be? And he was told, oh, wait till later. We expect more and better from SRP. I want you all right now to take a deep breath. Just take a deep breath. If you have COP or D or asthma, that hurts. Air pollution hurts. We're coming off of four days of high pollution alerts in Arizona, in Maricopa County. Four days in a row, and we've had over 51 days of high pollution alerts in Maricopa County so far this year. That's more than one a week. This is serious because air pollution hurts. I first started watching those high pollution alert days because my father has emphysema and my son has asthma. I should say my father had emphysema. Both my father and my mother-in-law had COPD and we lost both of them this year. And it's been a very bad year for ozone pollution and that may be a coincidence, but by golly, it hurts me in the heart. Air pollution hurts. And we need SRP to listen to us when we say air pollution hurts and stop making choices that are gonna make the climate crisis worse and that will make air pollution worse. My district includes some of the largest employers in the state, many of whom have made very public commitments to clean air and to addressing our climate crisis with bold sustainability goals and a strong push for renewable energy and water conservation. These companies, as well as the residents I serve, understand that this commitment to clean air is an all-hands-on-deck proposition. And one of the largest utilities in the, our state, SRP, has an obligation to all of us to not sink the ship. This is not the time. Adding more methane gas to our already polluted air is a really bad idea. Over the past 20 years, we've seen a faster rise in the atmospheric concentration of methane. And if we don't act now, the Paris Agreement's one and a half degree centigrade target cannot be achieved at a reasonable cost. We need to reduce methane emissions by 40 to 45 percent by the year 2030 to achieve the Paris goals. Adding new fossil fuels now is not the answer. There's a report, the Global Methane Assessment, Benefits and Costs of, methane, of Mitigating Methane Emissions. In it, met, it describes that methane contributes to the formation of ground level ozone, a dangerous pollutant. Ozone attributable to anthropogenic methane emissions causes approximately, wait for it, half a million premature deaths globally per year. Thus, human activity leads to methane emissions that lead to ozone, that lead to half a million people dying prematurely on the planet each year. And that is cause for an all hands on deck solution to reduce methane emissions, not add more. Obviously, adding more fossil fuels at this time is both short-sighted, as well as an affront to the companies and residents that SRP serves. Just this, so far this year, again, I remind you, 51 days that exceeded air quality standards for public health and 111 days that were only at moderate air quality. Air pollution hurts, and let's remember that. Methane gas also harms the ecosystems and crops by suppressing growth and diminishing production. Our Arizona farmers are already hard hit because of the cuts to water especially in the Coolidge area where this expansion will go. With more water cuts coming, this methane powered expansion is an extra slap in the face to these farmers that could potentially impact our local food supplies in the future. This is a climate crisis. And we as leaders, we must act boldly. Now, our house, our planet, deserves more from us. This billion dollar expansion with new methane gas from SRP is not the right way to go. Air pollution hurts and we need everybody to remember that 
it's very personal for each and every one of us who knows somebody with COPD or asthma, every time they breathe in on a high pollution alert day, they can feel it. And we are all feeling it every day. It's affecting our children's lungs in a long-term way. We've got to turn the corner and break the ship on air pollution. And SRP can do that. I believe in you, SRP.